exhale all the tension that your body may have acquired. Practicing and getting ready for a performance is another journey. Of course, it begins with falling in love with whatever piece you're going to play. When we play slowly, we have to play with the same musicality. The only thing that happens is that we are looking at a piece through a microscope. Don't make it just a mechanical repetition. Doesn't pay out. It is involved. It is with love and with pleasure in playing it slow. Now we are ready. Now we have done everything we can, and now we go to bed the night before a concert. We all have an inner voice that says, it's too bad, you don't have a week more to play it to practice. Are you sure you have it? Are you sure you know it? Are you ready? We all have this little voices, these little temptations that are trying to kind of eat away other confidence that we need to be able to, to play, to prepare, to, to go out and do it. When I hear those voices, I take them as I think that music is a sacred temple and is guarded, is guarded by this little, almost phantoms, because they are not really real. They are created by our own ego. We create those little demonic creatures that try to break us down before we can enter this temple of peace and beauty and love and everything that is so wonderful about the world of music. So go to bed and here it is, trust, faith, and allow ourselves that whatever will be, will be, and that it is not the result, but the journey we take through it that really counts, that really matters. It is that journey that experience while we are enjoying the world of music is the process that is important and not the result. You will find that you can go to bed and you can sleep like a baby before you have to play 
a world premiere in Carnegie Hall. Because you've done your job, you've prepared. And my first meeting with a guitar on the day of a, of a performance is I take it, I open the case, I look at it, and there it is. My partner, and we're going to go to a party together. And together, we're going to have this incredible experience. And together is the word. So I look at the guitar and this expectation that normally, if I thought of it by of only myself, I would be nervous. If I see it, if I think of it, when I open the guitar and I look at it before I even touch it, it's an expectation of a party that we're going to have. Where unknown things are going to happen to us, the guitar and I. It is that unknown, that uncertainty, that makes us nervous. Because we want a guarantee that we're going to remember every note, that we're not going to make a mistake, that we're not going to Mm, be ridicule ourselves. It is that it is fear. All fear done, created by our own ego, by connecting to the wrong part of us. When we join that first moment when you open the, in the guitar in the morning, and you go, oh, in a few hours, we're going to be enjoying a wonderful experience together. Then you take it out. And then you start warming up. How do you warm up? Together. You warm up your fingers while you warm up her sound, her voice. And you play, I, I play scales, I play arpeggios. If, so, if you make a mistake during the warm up, the slow warm up, preparing for a concert, don't freak out. Be grateful that it happened to you then, and it gives you the opportunity to review it and strengthen it so it doesn't happen later. I'm not nervous. I can have my coffee and I'm relaxed and then I go to the stage. And once I'm there, I do warm up exercises, scales, I take the guitar again. <laughs> I play a little bit of flamenco to relax the hands because um, when you do it brings happiness. Flamenco brings joy to me. And I play flamenco and then I am a few minutes before I go out. Then I think, then I dedicate my performance. What I am about to do, and I start thinking of people that I love. It's very important that when you are about to make music, 
that you enter the place inside our heart, that we enter the place inside our heart that feels love. Unconditional love. It is from that place that music comes. Music to me is an expression of love. And it, I must enter that place and I must open the door so that it is love that I feel. Fear can only be conquered by love. Many people have done very brave, valiant things. But they are always, the more valiant an act is, the more it is powered and guided by love. So when you walk out to play, if you feel, if you have access, the chamber inside of you that feels love and you've opened the door and you, when I walk out into the stage, I look into the audience and my last thoughts in words, my last verbal thoughts before the music begins is, I dedicate this to your pleasure. And I'm not dedicating what I'm going to do. I'm dedicating the experience I am about to receive. It's not here I am, Pepe Romero, and I'm going to, I dedicate my great performance to your pleasure. No, it's here I am to enjoy it with you. We are all in a party and I've been chosen to deliver the goods. And we're all going to enjoy it. And then I shut off my mind and I am done thinking. I am now prepared to experience the mystery that is about to unveil. And a great concert is where mysterious things happen. A great concert is not where everything goes the way you planned. A great performance is where you feel the unexpected and it is all good and it is all beautiful. But you are experiencing wonder happening to you, to the audience, to the composer, and you are living inside the world of music. Rodrigo used to say that when we die, we become music. And I love the feeling that when we are alive, we can experience becoming music.